Hi everybody, Rob Keys here playing MechWare Online. The big update finally came out. This is the first big one of 2014. It is February 4th and this is UI 2.0. This has been in uh, public testing for quite some time, but this is my first time myself getting into it. Uh, right away you can see the way bigger view. It's full screen finally. It's not like the previous client where it was like a partial screen and then when you load it into the game it like switched uh, into full screen. This is full screen all the way. It's a much smoother and quicker when you click around. And uh, you can turn it around. It looks like it looks like it's an HD, you know, texturized version of the mechs from the previous client. But these are the same models you see in game. Uh, it just looks good. There's my good old Ilya with his new color scheme. Used to be all kind of like blue and whitish and gray, but now he's a uh, dark red because he's a badass. He's intimidating. Looks like he's from hell. Deals out my highest damage average per match. Still my triple UAC fives. Uh, my good old Firebrand double AC twenties. Uh, People hate when I drive this mech. People still complain in game like a bunch of trolls when they see AC-40 mechs, but I don't know, it's still fun to drive here and there. And this is my quad AC-5s and my double gauss. Very specific type builds for my Jaggers. Um, but I'm all about the jump jet mechs these days, so that's why you saw my quick draw at the beginning. Got my... I still like using my Yen Lo. I love using my X-5 Cicada still. Um, but I am a big fan of... Where are they? These guys. My little hopping... Um, jump jet powered blackjacks. I like to call them battle jacks, but blackjacks is what they're actually called. So here you can kind of sort uh, right away. You can see on the side, sort by the mechs you owned. Trial mechs, you know, you don't own them, but you have access to them. That's why it shows them here. Um, and then if you can look at purchasable, you can see like basically all the mechs that you can buy. It's so crazy. And again, you can sort. It's kind of frustrating because if you're like, for example, if you sort by heavy and you want to go look at your own heavy mix, it cycles back to the top in trial. It doesn't keep your selected filter, which is really, really stupid. Uh, I think that's a poor design choice and kind of frustrating because every time you want to sort back and forth between what you can buy and what you own, it's going to cycle back to the top. Uh, okay, so, uh, well, we're in Mech Lab already. We'll look at the skills later on. So let's just pick a mech for funsies and look at the configure screen. Uh, all your options are along the far left side. You can always rotate your mech by just dragging. You cannot zoom in and out. Uh, so if we go look at the loadout screen, whoa, shit everywhere. This is uh, a little overwhelming design choice. Because um, all these images are, there are different versions. If you go down and look at the bigger engines, the actual like image is a little different, the thumbnail. But basically you're looking at like a million <laughs> thumbnails of the same image, just with no different numbers. And that's kind of sloppy and annoying to look at. And I think that's going to be a little overwhelming for newcomers if they just jump into this game. Um, the thing I think uh, Prana Games, the developer, failed at is not building from the ground up a more sensible layout. So basically, just like the old system, you can only click one part of your mech at a time. On the left here, I'm clicking left arm, right leg. You can see what you can purchase. Um, but this is stupid uh, because there's a website which has been out for years called Smurfy that gives you like a full layout of the entire mech and you know each torso, each limb, and you can kind of look at it all at once. And they realized that that's important and that they is going to be coming to this game, but I don't think it's coming till March. So why they didn't build that into the game from the ground up is beyond me. I think that's kind of a common issue with the development of this game is they keep doing things without kind of thinking ahead or doing what's user friendly. Uh, or obvious, but for now, it's still kind of the old system where you can look at one limb at a time. It's more color-coded, as you can see. AC5 is purple. So it's a little easier on the eyes if you're looking at one specific thing, but trying to find where you are on the screen with the stats down here, your pieces here, the mech on the right, some details up top, and like your money and experience in the bottom left. It's just kind of all over the place. Um, anyways, you got the weapon images here on the left. Um... So, I'm just trying to think here. If I click torso, equipment, ammo. Oh, okay, it's giving you, I see. So you click a part of the mech, then you can click what's available to put in that part of the mech. To sort by. I feel like this might take a few extra steps compared to how it was in the previous client. But uh, again, this is so new to me, it's just gonna take me a long time to kinda acclimatize myself to it. But it seems unnecessarily confusing. Um, and I'm, an, I'm, I'm someone who's played this game, like, basically daily since the game came out. Um, but again, this is my very first time looking at UI 2.0. I never tried the public testing. Um, anyways, that's that. Um, I think if you go to skills... Wait, I go to back. What do we have here? Modules? 
Oh yeah, they added a bunch of new modules, like some weapon-specific ones, which we'll look at a little more carefully when we go into the skills section. But you can just kind of see it down here. Um, I bought one a second ago as a test, medium laser range. Three million to buy it. It was actually didn't cost much GXP, but it still cost a pretty hefty C bills price to actually buy it. But for now, uh, the module system is mostly the same, so I only have three module slots, and to put this medium laser thing in there, I have to buy it. But if I hover over it, it'll tell you what it does here on the right. So it says, I, there's two tiers of this uh, laser upgrade, and the first one gives you like a, a small boost to the range in exchange for more heat uh, requirement. So uh, the second tier one says, increase the long range of a medium laser by 10.8 meters, and your maximum range is increased by twice that, 21.6. But uh, the trade-off is you get a little more heat, 0.16. They did that for all the weapons. Uh, so for now, all they added was a little more, like you can get range boosts. There's nothing on like damage output, but I would imagine they're going to add something where you can like increase the damage of the weapons, but the trade-off is even more heat and like a way lower range or something like that. But uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, you can see the ones I have, it tells you owned one, but it still has the price above it, If I guess, if you want to buy two. I almost wish the game let you, like when you pick a mech, it just kind of gives you a list of all the modules you have, and you can kind of just select right off the bat. You don't have to buy, like I never ever want to buy two zoom modules. Uh, it's just anti, you know, user to have uh, them kind of drag and drop module from mech to mech to mech. It's just kind of a big waste of time. But uh, I do understand they're trying to make as much money as they can off the game, so you get people spending their C-bills, which yeah, as you can see, I have over 20 million just because there's nothing to buy with them. I have plenty of weapons and I have all the mechs I want. Um, anyways, uh, support. Yeah, these are just the different categories of modules. What else we got here? Good thing they added finally. You can rename your mech. Uh, so happy I can rename. Oh, I can't fit it. Anyways. This is the Merle Mets. I'm just going to call him the Beast. Because he is the Beast. Anyways, that's, that's super good. I'm glad they finally added that. Mech name changed successfully. Oh shit, wait. I think if you want to rename it again, you may have to pay. Okay, good. You don't have to do that. Oof. I was worried there for a second. Um, there he's the beast. Because he is the beast. Oh, wicked. So you can pre-select your weapon groups now. That's something nice. You can just you, you use the same control scheme as it does in the game. Right control and the keys. So that's a smart addition. Cancel. I'm going to leave that as it is. Cockpit. Okay, you got to view the cockpit and you can look at all your items. Um... I look at the ones I own. I guess not. Mounted? There's nothing here yet. Hanging. I have a couple of these things. Oh, what's this? A dog tag? No, oh, I don't own it yet. Mm, invalid. Why are so many of these invalid? Hmm. Anyway. Standing. Uh, I have this thing. This is the NVIDIA. One of the very first free freebies they sent out when the game first came out. Uh, I don't guess I don't really have many of these things. I have to buy them all. Pretty expensive MC price. But anyways, um, that's that's that. What else do you got? Weapon groups, camo spec. You can, uh, yeah, you guys know this. Okay, this is a little different. Camo pattern. It's a hero mech, so I can't change the pattern, but I can kind of mess with the colors. So it gets. Oh, it shows you right away. This is a little sloppy, but it's, it right away defaults to what you own, which is kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. Make them orange. Ooh, well, imagine that. I would shoot that mech first thing on the battlefield. Put my dark red back on. Okay, cool. Oh, nope. Reset to saved? Oh, you can save now. How do I do that? Well, I don't see a save button. Uh, I don't know. Anyways. Only two colors in this mech. Um, so that's that. Uh, rename, modules, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. These are just the, yeah, okay. This is kind of a sloppier system, because I don't think these should all be listed together. I kind of like... Yeah, this is this thing on the right here is the same as the previous thing, but having them all in one window is kind of confusing. Hmm. Anyways, it's a start. Work in progress. This is... Wow, that's a long, big list. And they obviously took some design elements from World of Tanks and World of Warplanes, where you can kind of see, like, your skill level. So I'm guessing the orange is kind of like you've mastered it. Yeah, so, uh, as you can see, that orange thing means I have all the, um, everything's unlocked. So if I go back, wow, it took me all the way back. Um, this guy's got 14,000 XP, so he's a bit off. Uh, yeah, 
I have lots of GXP I could buy, but I'm not going to waste that. If I go to unlock... Are you sure you want to unlock? No. Hells no, I don't want to spend XP on that. Anyways, so that's that. It's kind of cool. Uh, it kind of gives you an incentive, actually, to kind of go in and kind of master these mechs. If you haven't already. And... It would give people a more collector's mentality to kind of get... Uh, additional variants or mechs they don't usually play. As you can see, I don't have... I have 50 mechs, and I'm still missing quite a few. There's a lot more on the way with those clan mechs. What is this? Modules. Oh yeah, here you go. SRM range. Pulse laser range. So you need to unlock it with GXP first. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you unlock it with GXP. There's two tiers for all of these, it looks like. Uh, large laser range. Unlock it. Yep. So these are pretty affordable, actually. Unlock the second level one for 600. Wait, 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 before I do that. So, increases the range of large lasers by 20 meters. Uh, max range is 40 meters and two, an extra 2.28 uh, heat. If I get the upgrade. Yes. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I just unlocked it. I gotcha. So, it was half that before. Uh, well... The thing is, right now, these uh, weapon upgrades, if you call them upgrades, the range upgrades, uh, take the same slots as your typical modules. So you're going to have to sacrifice using something like a caption accelerator, capture accelerator to, to put in a range boost, which kind of sucks. But um, I think they're going to be adding different tiers of modules. So I hope they do. It'd be nice if you had like a, a set of three modules just for weapons uh, specializations. Then you have one for like... You have a module slot just for, like, sensors or support stuff or whatever, like these basic ones from before. And then you have an additional one where you can put in, like, a support option, like um, artillery strike or whatever. But um, I'm sure they'll play around with that. There's a lot of potential what you can do with those systems to make mechs more specialized down the road. But um, anyways, that's my kind of, like, a first look, quick look at UI 2.0. Um, I wouldn't even call it UI 2.0. It's UI 1.75 because... Uh, there's a lot of upgrades coming, obviously. I think by March, we're going to see some drastic changes uh, based on what we already know they're planning to do and based on user feedback to the big change. But uh, I'll stop it here. I'm going to look up the full patch notes, find out what's, what other options or features they added to the game. They did add the Ember mech. I don't know if we looked at that yet. Let's go to Hero mech. Let's go look at Purchasable. Oh, look. I went back to the top. Firestarter. Here he is. This is the FS9E. Oh, and the trailer is just called the FSE. Was, there was no 9 there. But anyways, uh, this thing's called the Ember. You can buy it for MC right now. It costs $26.25. Uh, where are the details in this little guy? He's got his weight down here. Uh, jump distance speed. He runs pretty fast. I'm trying to find some details on him. Oh, here you go. Ballistic 4 slots and energy 4 slots. So the default comes with 4 flamers and 4 machine guns. So he's like a beast up close against mechs who have their armor taken off. Um, and he's got jump jets, which is pretty awesome. I'm trying to find the weight. Do you see the weight on the screen? Whoops. Uh, gives you the speed, deceleration, acceleration, heat management, firepower. Uh, I'm still trying to find max engine 295, so you can go a lot faster, I think. Uh, it comes with double heat sinks and endo steel upgrades. And he has an AMS slot as well. Um, I think... This is a pretty... With so many, like, weapon hard points, there's going to be a lot of different variants of this max, right? People using medium laser, small lasers, large laser, PPCs even, and then, uh... You know, try, even trying to fit auto cannons on it since it has so many ballistic slots. I'm trying to find out, looking at the design, I can see the two flamers in each hand, but I'm trying to find the machine gun slots. Oh, oh, they're torsos. Here you go. I see them. One, two, one, two. So left and right torso of two machine guns each, and uh, all the laser energy slots are on the uh, hands. So that's actually a pretty cool mech. I think people are going to like it, especially since it has jump jets. Poor commando, even more obsolete, especially this little jerk with his four lasers. Useless. Useless! No one uses the death. I call it the death snail. Its actual name is the death snail or canal or whatever the hell. Anyways, um, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more MechWare online videos. I'll make a ton as more mechs and features come out. Uh, next step is to read the patch notes. Hopefully get some more MC in the near future so I can buy this bad boy and give him a shot. I do love my jump jet mechs. And I do like my energies and ballistic weapons. I remember playing Mech Commander back in the day. And I liked using fire starters because I could put like two PPCs on them. But uh, Good old days of MechWare. Uh, cheers. Uh, leave a comment on your thoughts on UI 2.0. Again, this is my first time, so I apologize if I'm talking about stuff you already know, but I'm just kind of acclimatizing myself to the new system, uh, and I'll learn as I go. So, uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.